The Oregon State motto says she flies with her own wings. What a terrific nod to Oregonian sense of freedom and independence. But I also think it says more about our passion for the outdoors and especially wildlife. Hi there, I'm Grant McComey, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. And this week we learn about that passion for wildlife, particularly the sick or injured wildlife species along the Oregon coast, nearly 400 miles, where bad things do happen and the only people who are waiting to help, they're volunteers at a special place near Astoria, the Wildlife Center of the North Coast. It's a good bet that you've walked a stretch of beach along Oregon's gorgeous, nearly 400 mile long coastline. Chances are also good that you've crossed paths with wildlife that soar overhead or wing past in a dizzying blur. From eagles to peregrines to scores of pelicans, seabirds by thousands either pass by or nest atop Oregon's rocky islands. They are certainly a treat to watch, but when trouble arrives and threatens their survival, the lucky ones land here, a place you've likely not seen or heard much about, the Wildlife Center of the North Coast. We think that she has some nerve damage in her left leg there because she can't walk properly right now. What happened? Hit by a car, he actually had uh, a fractured humerus. They have the same bones in their wings as we have in our arms. It's a trauma ward for birds on the brink, the ones that won't make it without intervention and a helping hand. They all have various leg injuries that we're trying to clear up before they go outside. For nearly 20 years, the center has been an oasis of aid for birds that fly into power lines, are hit by cars, or are shot for fun. These MERS were blown in during last fall's terrible storms that hit the coast with a brutal one-two punch of cold and wind. The center's assistant director, Josh Serenpaw, says 120 MERS were brought here by visitors during that time. Most birds starved. This handful is all that made it. Very social. Very social. Two MERS together, if they've never met ever, they still preen each other, they spend time together very communal. The center's 12-person volunteer staff handles more than 2,000 birds each year. In addition, the volunteers conduct about 80 educational programs each year, teaching the public about seabirds and raptors. The love of animals, that's a, a biggie right there. This was all new to me. I had to learn. I had to learn a lot and I learn every day still. Doesn't it look delicious? Melissa Corvin says they'll go through hundreds of pounds of small fish called capelin each week. But too often, Josh adds that fresh fish doesn't help. You see, increasingly, birds like this northern fulmar show up near starvation, and yet their stomachs are filled with small bits of plastic. Somewhere around 85% all have plastic inside them. The sharp pieces will perforate their internal organs, leeches, toxins out that make them sick. When they're full of plastic, they can't eat, fill their stomachs up properly. Yet the work makes a difference, like last summer's release of two pelicans, or in September, when a bald eagle discovered freedom in flight again. Brief but rewarding moments that bring the center's caregivers back each day. It's something about helping something that needs help. It's a good way to give back. The Wildlife Center serves a vast area along the coast, reaching from Newport on the central Oregon coast all the way up through the Long Beach Peninsula in Washington State. So as you can imagine, they need all the help they can get. That includes supplies, but also volunteers. We have all the details, directions, and the contact information so you can make your own connections with the Wildlife Center right here on the Travel Oregon website. So please check it out. Until next week, do get out here and explore the great Oregon outdoors. Let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.